Hi everybody, and thank you for taking that thumbnail and checking out this video, it means a lot. This is my first walkthrough with commentary for a game that I have not played. I have played the intro just to test the audio quality of the, of the commentary over the game, and that's about it, just to adjust the audio settings. I had to put the music down, obviously, just to talk over the, <laughs> over the main menu, because the music was so loud. Now I've uh, played the first game of this, of like Rage, back on the PS3. I quite enjoyed it, but I know it got very poorly reviewed, and I was never expecting a sequel to be made. I can't actually remember much of the first game, other than you, the good guys were called the Resistance, and the bad guys were called the Authority. And yeah, they, they didn't win any rewards for originality in the naming. But it was actually a fun game. So I'm hoping this is more of the same. From what I've played of it, it's very fun. But anyway, I've talked enough. Uh, what I will say before I start the game is though, if you could be so uh, kind as to leave a like and maybe a comment down below, that would help me out a lot and I'd be very grateful. But I'm just thankful to have you here uh, on the game with me. Now let's get started, shall we? i got nothing else to say, nothing else comes to mind. I put the music up just a tad, um, and I'll probably just adjust the audio as the walkthrough goes on, so no need to worry there. But I will be turning the mic off for cutscenes and whatnot. Don't want to spoil the story, and I will well talk to you after the intro. cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! going on out there? Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. Well, that all looked rather dramatic, didn't it? Uh, okay, so I need to go with a guy. Of course, he doesn't quite look like a guy in this light. Think it's a drill? Doesn't sound oh, like a drill. Which obviously Seems looks like, like a real thing. We should move out. Well, she looks quite masculine, actually. I'll go with her. It's go time, right? Yeah. Grab your gear. 
What is that? I'll secure the door. <laughs> you gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right, then let's go fucking get some. So, whichever character Better we didn't choose me. gets killed by a door? Alright. Never much for counting. Walker, we need you in the courtyard. Now! We're on our way. Got Lily too. Jersey's been deployed to warn the other settlements. They gotta know. I guess this is big then. Just snapped it on the combo. Feltrite cells. Pick up the Feltrite cells from fallen enemies to regenerate health. Cool. Us. This is the biggest attack they've ever seen. Uh, Taking on uh, uh, damage, use the health infusion to regain vitality. I'm serious. Then let's go. We're we gonna go earn us a glory ribbon. <laughs> Mom is expecting us at the courtyard. That <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Big one. What the? It's a ranger. Not just any ranger. <laughs> That's Jersey. Holy shit, it took his whole head off. So much for Ranger Jersey. He's not going to defib out of that. Yeah, I was gonna say that was Jersey. It's all up to me now. I'm taking okay, that look. armor. If you're gonna do it, do it. Let's push these creeps back into the wasteland. But like, hey, look, yeah, it's the ranger. Ah, there he goes. He wasn't around. Yeah, he wasn't around too long, was he? Uh, how do I get this? There you go. Shit, mom's gonna skin you alive, messing with ranger gear. Yeah. <sighs> But it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is even better than I thought. Switch weapons <coughs> to access the full oh, load. So, ah, nice. These are all the different guns you can get. I want to get the firestorm revolver. More on the side, right than the pistol. I like revolvers more than pistols. On my way. That's probably like an end game weapon. Revolvers usually are. The wing stick is a versatile and deadly gadget. Cool. So that makes a return from the first game, the wing stick. Grenade! Use grenades to deal massive damage and... Yeah, okay. 
So that's just telling me how a grenade works. Mom really tried to keep you out of that armor as long as she could. Wonder why. Aw, getting jealous, Lily? Damn right I am. I would have been the youngest ranger to ever get sworn in, if not for this bullshit nano tripe crap. Hold. I want to focus on highlight enemies, blah blah blah. Okay. I do wonder what these things are, because I'm sure in the first game the authority had regular people, not uh... Is that a baby's arm? Okay, uh, I'm not going to ask. Yeah, they had regular people, I'm sure, in the first raid. Alright, uh, not something that looks like belongs off Doom. And then again, the game does handle like Doom quite a bit. Wait, I just backtracked, didn't I? Ah, I came all the way back. Why did I do that? How did I do that? So I went up here. Uh, go up here. Oh, then I ran all the way back here. I took a right instead of a left. So that's well, like a super ability while using overdrive. There you go. Whoa! This is amazing. Crowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model, especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. The meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job? What the fuck is that? Never seen anything so big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. Hey, Cross. <laughs> 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 I want the first. 
Cross, Jenis. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley's lost it or if it's really true. Do know this, though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a stand down! That's a direct order! Watch out! Go, you ugly bastard! Hold on! Took off that thing's arm. Okay. Erwina <laughs> Prowley, is that you? I was set to spare the lives of you original archists for experimentation, but for you, I'll make an exception for old. Times, Elwina? Mm -hmm. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. See if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait. Ah! Ah! Fuck's sake. I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So, this is it then. This is all that's left. Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. Cross, he... He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know how. But we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. <laughs> That the authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Rangers CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. So, right. The authority. I think a lot of time has passed between this game and the last one. Because uh, I think at the end of the last one, the Arcs were all the people from our civilization who were meant to be sleeping in, came up. And yeah, it's been like a quite a while, it seems. Considering a lot of the younger people can't remember who the authority are, but in the first game they were everywhere. So yeah, a lot of backstory. I suppose this gives them, because the first game didn't really have much in the way of uh, stuff, like you know, that story then, like world, law, that's the word, you know, that's the type of thing. They didn't really have like law, so you couldn't really read up on anything. Other than what happened to wipe out our civilization. So I assume that's just what they've done in this one. They've skipped like what 20, 25 years, maybe 30 years, and then just filled it, filled, uh, filled it with history, which you can read up on. I'll be 
got something for me in here, Prowley. information about, um, about my, about Ranger Unit Sergeant Irwina Prowley. Processing. Security protocol override. Walker, if you're seeing the message, you need to get harder than ever before. I'm like a cadet, and finally, it also means that they can only live in the Ranger, and then they'll be over when he's back, and they must be stopped. All these years, as I had you away from the crisis of the Rangers, as I hoped you would be spared in a town like this. Like the Tarnian Rangers and Elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Divine Land's primary arc, and the technology side, the old Xbox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents, all the Rangers, frozen up like hostiles. And from here, here we emerged and kicked the old ass. It is like the Ark is an ideal succession distributor, which is just my greatest gift to you. A device from all that has been a chance in your life, and it gives you, well, superhuman powers. There's just no other way to put it. Enter the Ark and activate it. Well, let's see what kind of surprise you got for me here, Ghost Prowley. She might be dead, but she's still calling the shots. Well, that's always good to know, I guess. I'm taking orders from a dead man, woman, sorry. Uh, yeah, I always thought like the arcs, I'm sure if I remember the ending of the first rage probably, the arcs all shot up out of the ground for whatever reason. So I don't know why this one's underground. Arcs are extremely valuable and can contain both weapons and nano droid abilities. Uh, approach the arc, face the door, and focus. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to Arc 401A. So I just stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best? Here goes nothing. Welcome to the simulation chamber. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your art weapons and any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession dash with the dash accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. As a ranger, the now threats inside you give you special abilities. And hit the L1 again. L1 is going to be responsible for a lot of things in this game, I feel. Good. Again, please. And again. Good work. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. Easy. Did it really have to eat my arm? Come back to the main hall. I have more information for you. It feels weird. Taking instructions from my dead aunt. You've got your 
first IED mission. For you, the SMR. There are many arcs still out there. Find them. Each arc contains valuable resources that will help your fight against the army. But you can't fight them alone. You'll need help. If Lilith is still alive, she will be valuable to you. But there are other allies. People who may only hurt her mind. But by the end of the authority wars, a few of us in the inner circle of resistance initiated what came to be known as Project Dagger. It was designed to put an end to the authority. Permanently. We knew it wasn't likely that they could just disappear despite their losses. And furthermore, we knew that the general process was in possession of technology that allowed some of the things to eternal life. Project Dagger was struck when my land closed its gates to our sites. But a pact of sorts remained between me and then the other three original daggers. First, John Marshall and then Merrill. A tough, no nonsense old war to split the first fight against the authority. He understands the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skill will help keep you off the authority's radar. Second, Lucy Hancock, well elsewhere. Daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military grade vehicles will be indispensable. And then there's a doctor, Anton Bosner, an ex-authority scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotech technology mutations. His skills are a cornerstone of the Hagar project. You will want to know more to down the road. Your range of arms and CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there. Range your water. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. I'll be honest. I didn't understand a lot of what she said because of that echo, but I think I got the gist of it. There's a big Lily, super secret project. there are three project. people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lucem Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Ah, sorry, Lily. But hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. Ah, so I was right. She was talking about a super secret project. Of course it was meant to stop the authority. What else would it be for? That was, uh, that's kind of... Uh, coincidental? Coincidental? Fortunate? <laughs> a bit too fortunate. That she just happens over top super secret plan to destroy the uh, authority as the authority comes back. You're the one that's supposed to stop shit like this. Where were you? You better keep that cack in check. Give you a gun, you parade around with that damn thing and go look at me. Oh yeah, I'm a badass. But when it really comes down to it, you don't do jack. One more word. And what? I swear you'll kill me like you kill all the so what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. Projects. Welcome to the project screen. Here you were, the per ah, here you were able to purchase projects, which is... Like, what up up upgrades look like? Yeah, this looks like a upgrade. The garage is online and the Phoenix is good to go. There are more projects here that would benefit the two of us. You need to beef yourself up, and I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. If you're lucky, your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal, because you sure need to get tough to take on the Authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, I'm heading out. It's a big bad world out there, so be careful. And don't go messing people over. You're a ranger now. You better act like it. 
Oh, and John Marshall in Gun Barrel is your closest dagger. You might want to start there. And be careful. We need you. Oh, wait. There's a talk section. Uh, like a talk prompt. Let's see what she wants. I'll hold the fort, Walker. You just do what you gotta do. So that was pointless. Alright, so free roam. Uh, tracking a location on the map. I'm just gonna skip that bit because I imagine this is telling me what free roam means. Uh, the GPS shows. Uh, uh, yeah, that's basically just telling me what free roam means. <laughs> like the top part and the bottom part. Dodge. What does that mean? Ah. Well, that's just weird in the car, isn't it? I mean, boosters on the side to send you sideways. Oh god, oh god. Ah. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. We've passed the bit I wanted to do in this intro sequence, which was, well, the intro. Hope you've all enjoyed, I hope the commentary's been okay. This is, like I said, it's the first game I'm doing now where I haven't really played through it at all. I haven't completed it or anything, and I'm, it's the first time I'm playing through it, and I'm doing it with commentary, so that's like a first for me. Hope it uh, goes alright. Uh, any support you want to show me, throw down in the comments, anything like that, you know, I'm more than, <laughs> more than accepting of. If you've gotten to this point in the video, you know, God bless you, thank you very much, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you stick around for the next few parts. And that's pretty much it, yeah, I mean, I hope, like I said, hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you have a good day. See you next time.